Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Real Life. If you enjoy this content, please adopt a baby, teach it to walk, and as soon as it can walk, tattoo my channel logo on its forehead and then have it stroll around public places, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Do you guys know the recent war movie, 1917? Well, it was all filmed in one take, or at least perceived that way, so I thought it would be cool to film this entire vlog in a single take. So yeah, firstly we are now at 500,000 subscribers, which is just insane to me, and from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say thank you. Thinking back to the beginning, when I was just some novice making questionable gaming content, all the way to now, where through hard work, dedication, and focused personal growth, I'm still a novice making questionable gaming content, but now with half a million subscribers, motherfucker. That wasn't very modest, but I just love you guys, and I can't believe this has happened, so I've got some very special things planned for today. I guess it's been like three and a half years now since I started this channel, and I thought it'd be cool to take you through how it's gone down since day one. It'll be like story time with Modest Pelican, but with a hint of narcissism, as it's me talking all about me. No, look, one of my OG fans gave me the suggestion, so I thought, you know what? I'll do it. First though, I need to clear up some rumours that are going around. I don't usually like getting involved in YouTube drama, but there's been some pretty controversial fake news happening, and I think it's on me to step up and lay down the law. All these fake people think they know how to make the perfect glass of water, but today I'm going to show these dodgy malackas how to really do it via a low budget cooking segment. Bruh. Welcome to Cooking on Camera with Pelly, where the only thing we don't cook on camera is meth. Today we'll be cooking up a nice glass of water, the traditional way. First up, you're going to want to fill up a glass with water from the tap. Best to make sure the tap is on cold. Next, you're going to want to filter the water. If you don't have an actual water filter, you can always repurpose a sieve, which will completely remove any bacteria. After this, you'll want to boil the water, just like you were boiling up a lobster, but without the lobster. You'll then want to blend the boiling water. You'll want to be careful here, as if any of the water splashes out, you'll scorch your skin and might get a second degree burn. Next, you'll want to freeze the boiled blended water. This will take about four to six hours, so you can use this time to sit down somewhere quiet and read a historical fiction novel, or think about how disappointed your family is in you. Once frozen, you'll want to sit the glass of water out to defrost, but it's crucial it is defrosted via natural light. For example, the sun or a supernova. You'll then want to garnish your water with a lemon wedge, one fresh strawberry and some cucumber. Then drink away. I'm kidding, today we are cooking unadulted pure water, so throw that sinful liquid away and repeat steps one through six. Now you'll have a pure glass of fresh H2O so that you can stay happy and hydrated. Thanks for joining us today and remember, cooking is easy when you know how. Drinking water started as a meme, became a dead meme, and is now an important aspect of my channel. The circle of life. Now though, I want to take you back to the very beginning. The year is 2016 and I hadn't been online gaming much due to crappy internet. I was living in a share house near my university, mostly just drinking heavily, but it wasn't alcoholism because I was a student. One day I managed to fix the internet and started playing the Battlefield 1 beta, which I absolutely loved. With the game about to officially launch, I decided to create a Battlefield YouTube channel as it was something I always wanted to do. So my first ever video was uploaded to the channel and it was an incredibly below average montage. I used to clap cheeks back on Halo 3 and Call of Duty, but after a three year online gaming hiatus, I sucked. I also used a mainstream song and so the video got copy striked immediately. My old gamer tag wasn't even Modest Pelican, it was just Jeff GH, the GH being my initials. So it read Jeff Jeff and then my surname. I made the account when I was 10 years old and it would seem I didn't understand the basic naming conventions. Five days after this groundbreaking montage, I uploaded my second video and this one even had some commentary. Hi guys, Modest Pelican here. I've got a video of me going on a 60 kill spree in the heavy tank. Uh, this is a very different playstyle than I normally adopt, especially in video. This video was simply me abusing the overpowered heavy tank and going on a 61 kill streak. Quality content. For several more videos, I remained a dead serious tips and tricks channel. It was honestly a great fit if you ignored the fact that I was completely bullshitting just about everything I said. But then one video, I decided to add a little spice at the end. 
you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and send Ariana Grande pictures of your dick. This moment would surprisingly go on to influence my content more than just about anything. Looking back through the comments, it's incredibly nostalgic as I see the names of so many OG legends. But the common theme was that they mostly enjoyed the outro. Two and a half minutes of pro epic gamer tips, yet most people subscribed because I suggested photographing their junk and sending the photo to Grande. It was at this moment I realized my niche. Sexual harassment. No, I'm kidding, but for real, Battlefield 1 was popping off back in the day and there were so many content creators all doing the exact same thing and to be honest, most were doing the tips, tricks and weapons guides way better than I could. It took me quite a few videos to realize, but eventually it became clear that being a sarcastic, monotoned, dodgy malacca was my angle. So I went balls deep. I made videos pretending that the new DLC was McDonald's buildings and that you could become a fry cook instead of a scout or support player. I did my best to incorporate jokes wherever I could. This means if you miss a shot, you'll have to wait 2.3 seconds to reload or more technically, as long as I last in the bedroom. My content was far from perfect, but people appreciated that I was having a crack and this change helped me reach 1000 subscribers. I still remember being so happy and humbled that I had a community of that size. Honestly, it's the exact same feeling I have right now. It was at this point that everything really changed. I uploaded a video, nine types of Battlefield 1 players, and surprisingly it went viral. It amassed 750,000 views and gaming Facebook pages were sharing it everywhere. It kicked off an entire era for this channel, really helping me start to build a larger community. Almost every day after work or university, I'd play Battlefield 1 with my friends who I'm still best mates with today, the Stealtho Boys. The same guys who I play with and are in all my videos now are the same guys I was playing with back then. We all met online gaming and we started hanging out all the time in real life. It's a legendary group. Except for Stealtho Mato, no one really likes him. So yeah, every week I'd make a three or four minute scuffed Battlefield video using the footage I'd captured. And it was really just a hobby I was passionate about. I never thought it would be a career, I just loved making these short videos and interacting with you. I did start to blend in other games like PUBG, Rainbow Six Siege and Sea of Thieves, but Battlefield 1 was undoubtedly the backbone of this channel. It was a legendary era and one I look back on with fondness. Eventually though, and after making over 100 videos on the game, I felt it was time to move on. It's still one of my favorite games of all time, but I'd made every video I could possibly think of. The assault, support, medic, and scout class in a nutshell. The things noobs do, things tryhards do. Does Battlefield make you better in bed? Most hated maps, campers in a nutshell, most memorable handguns, meme tactics, the bloody call me daddy challenge where I'd kill people and then message them saying, I am your daddy. I really had done every concept I could think of and so when Red Dead Redemption 2 launched, I decided to aggressively branch out. It was instantly so refreshing making videos on new games. At the time, I was really nervous that you would feel let down with this shift in content, but the reaction was the total opposite. Not only was my existing community hyped to see the fresh videos, the channel started to grow at a rate I never thought possible. I gradually began to recognize the position I was lucky enough to be in. I had you guys who were just getting around and supporting any video I made, and for the first time in my life, I realized it could maybe be my full-time job. Finally, I could stop selling weed to preschoolers and focus on video. It was a good time to realize this too because parents were starting to ask questions. Anyway, I either had to take a huge financial risk and go full time with YouTube with about 100,000 subscribers, or focus on my career in finance and just have YouTube as a hobby where I posted when I could for fun. This was probably the biggest YOLO moment of my life, but I decided to go for it. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but I just love making videos and I love this community, so I sent it. On top of this, I had backing from those who support me through Patreon and still do. Without this, I could never have taken the risk. I remember when I told my girlfriend I was going full-time YouTube and in the words of Jesus, she was not a happy malacca. Anyway, leaving my job gave me the time to make content and also lead a healthy lifestyle. And because of this, I guess, the channel began to really grow. In the last 12 months, which is about as long as I've been doing this full-time now, we've gained 440,000 new subscribers, which I can barely wrap my head around. Making Sons of Virgins videos, Red Dead, Hitman, literally any game to be honest is so rewarding. I spend about an hour after every upload just reading and replying to comments and your support blows my mind. 
So yeah, thank you, you absolute legends for watching videos and being a part of this. I guess the moral is, if any of you have a dream or just want to try something out, I can honestly say, don't bother, it will fail. <laughs> nah, kidding. Of course you should just go for it. Is there someone you romantically like but haven't approached? Send that risky nude. Are you wanting to bake a lasagna but too scared it will burn? Bake that lasagna. Are you wanting to become a doctor? Well, pay the $200,000 study debt and spend eight years of your life getting that stethoscope. Are you a virgin? Well, good, make sure it stays that way until you're married. Have you always dreamt of eating Cocoa Pops off Emily Ratajkowski's lower back dimples? Well, then get your ass to the cereal aisle and make your dreams come true. I really don't know how to wrap up a video like this, so I guess I'll just let Jeff from 2016 take the wheel. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and send Ariana Grande pictures of your dick. No, look, one of my OG fans <laughs> also. So you've got something really sad. Like your mom being sick, very sick. Fuck.